Hello everyone and welcome to a new The Walking Dead Telltale episode. My name is Larissa and today I'm going to uh, play the last episode from season 3. It's been like a month since I played episode 4 but I know what, what it ended with and that was that they were in Richmond. Yeah, Richmond. And we had to choose between Ava and... Um, now I forgot his name. Well, that other dude. We had to choose between them and I chose to save that dude but then they shot um, him instead of Ava. Uh, because they were like, you lied to us and now we're going to lie to you. Uh, something like that. And Joan was not to be trusted. I hope I'm explaining this right. I'm not feeling so well at the moment. I'm, I'm sick. I have been for two weeks. And I haven't like had the energy to record anything. But now I really needed to record episode 5. I'm excited for this last episode. Because of course in, in the last episode, always a lot of people die and... Yeah, a lot of things happen. So I'm quite excited to find out uh, how this is going to end and who is going to survive this. And I hope Kate is still alive because the last thing we saw is that she drove the truck. Um, but there was such chaos and then she like drove into a wall or something like that. Or there was an explosion. Something like that. Um, so yeah, let's start episode 5. Previously on The Walking Dead, whatever this thing is between us... I want to give it a chance. I'm in. All the way. Oh my god, really? Really. Just look what he's done. Oh, I remember his name now, it was Trip. I had a very interesting conversation with your friend Eleanor last night. Isn't that right, Eleanor? We did. Both of them deserve to die for their crimes. Javi? I'll let you spare one of them. Just one. Trip has to live. Shoot him. Wait! I said Trip should live! No! We're leaving. All of us. Right now. <laughs> it's Kate. She's coming for us. Yeah, and then that happens. Oh God. I just really hope she's okay, but... Kate! Uh, I don't know how that's possible. Okay, here we go, last episode. <laughs> While we're still breathing, Javi, I'm letting the bones speak to me. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, I think I can hear them. They're saying, You're gonna lose, come mierda, so play already. I must have inherited patience from Ma. Oh, come on, man. Um... Calm down, David. No one is ever in a rush to lose. Victoria. Ah, oh, shit. I was so close. You're now my least favorite son, Javier. Hey, he's the one who beat you. Fine. It's a tie. I hate you both equally. Kicked out of baseball. Can't play dominoes. What exactly are you good at again, Javi? At least I can actually play baseball. Slugger. That's enough, both of you. It's not Javi's fault he's a disgrace to the game of dominoes. I won. That's ten bucks you owe me. Both of you. I know you're broke, Javi. You should sit out the next game, since we all know I'm gonna win. No shame in surrender. You'd all understand. Don't kid yourself. You got lucky. <laughs> Fuck luck. That was skill. Pay up, little brother. If you can. I'll cover for Javier. Oh, is it your turn to do that now? I lost track. Poor, helpless Javi. Uh, Get David my wallet, Mila. is such an asshole. Keep an eye on him. You don't want him snatching an extra 20 for gas money. It's on the counter. Yeah, sure, Pa. Pa? What's this? Hey, man, I was reading that. What? Wait, what's up? What the fuck is this? None of your business. He has cancer. What? Pa? 
stop. Really? I'm old. Old people get cancer. You didn't need to know. That's not for you to decide. You really should have told us. It's the right thing to do. It's my cancer. I get to do whatever I want. You know now. What difference does it make? How bad? It's okay, mijo. Ask me. How bad is it? You won't have to worry about paying me back that ten bucks. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ, Pa. Hey, settle, David. Now. You haven't told Mama. And neither will either of you. You hear me? Mouth shut. That's not okay, Pa. You have to tell her. When the time is right, I, I will. That's not good enough. It's good enough for me. You're gonna need her help with this, Pa. Driving you to the doctor, getting prescriptions. Wait, what are your options? Treatment, stuff like that. Chemo, radiation, all that expensive mierda. Great. When do you start? I turned it down. Turned it down? You don't get to turn it down. So much money and for what? Another month, another game of dominoes to lose. It's not worth it. If I was still playing ball, I could have paid for it. I'll pay for it. It's not happening. Save your money. Fuck the money, I can afford it. You can afford it, David. But my pride can't. Let's play another game. You are a fucking coward. A selfish coward. Javi, can you believe this shit? David, I get it, man. It's not fair, but come on, take it easy. Sit down. Okay, so now we know Both. why their father was sick. What what he had. You know, I pray for daughters. <laughs> Every night your mother was pregnant with both of you. Please, God, a daughter. Anything but a son. Anything but another me. Anything but another hot-headed idiot with his heart in the right place. Anything but another foolhardy, handsome gambler. Anything at all. Please, Papa. Don't give up. Fight. Fight for our name. For our blood. For our family. Please, fight. You have to fight, Pa. We don't just give up. Any of us. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'll think about it. Oh, thank you, Pa. Thank you, Javi. Now, can we play another game? I'll grab some more beers. So, what are you really gonna do? Truth be told, whatever gets your mother off my ass. You think you two were mad at me for keeping secrets? Hm. But it's good to see you and David on the same side of things, or a change. I'm gonna be a name carved in stone before you know it, Javier. That'll be me. Letters on a rock that nobody wants to visit. I know you think you're strong enough to handle that alone. And so does your brother. And you're both wrong. You have to take care of each other. You two are all I'll leave behind. Like Gabe and Mariana will be for David. Legacy, Javier. It's all anyone leaves behind. That and their bones. Be brothers before it's too late. That's not too much to ask. One last favor for your old man. Okay, Pa. I'll try. As hard as you can? As... as hard as I can. You promised to be a good I still brother. Need to pay, David. Pa. Oye, if you had just won the game, we wouldn't have had this problem. <laughs> So you're blaming me for all this. I'm depending on you, mijo. We both are. So I guess this was the last backstory then. Let me just... Um, because, uh, well, this is the last episode, of course, and we never actually really knew what was, was going on with his father. We knew he was sick, and we knew he was dying at the beginning. Well, he died. And then he was like, 
one of those first walkers and they had to deal with it, but we never really know what he had. So, But it was nice to to get an, another flashback from Javi's past because we've been getting that, I believe, every episode now at the beginning and I think that's kind of nice just to to get more backstory. So yeah, now we'll let the real story start. Oh god. Kate! I'm also getting shot from behind. Great. Oh shit. I have to shoot the walker. Oh, come on. So many obstacles and we just have to get to the game. Gross. <laughs> yeah, save. <coughs> not in there. Where is she? here she must have gotten out if something's happened to her if you've gotten her what you better hope she's alive how about it you're welcome i just saved your life is uh, that what you're thinking about? asshole kate's more important than your ego kate kate but how would she have gotten kate! out is that kate no david wait Oh my god, oh my god. That's not Kate, right? I found you. <sighs> oh my god. So <laughs> Thank uh, god you're all right. oh, this must suck for David. I'm just glad you're still in one piece. <laughs> Thanks for making it back to me. You're alive. I thought I lost you back there. The same. David's like, what the hell? Oh, for a moment I was really scared because they made it look like that was Kate, but what I couldn't believe it. What the hell's the matter it. with you two? Focus on your surroundings. Uh, there's Gabe and Clyde. Oh shit, we gotta Leave save them. Way, Hobby. And we really gotta leave David behind after this. Honestly. Head in the game, Javi. Get the knee, like this. Nice, Kate. Nice. I got a great teacher. You guys all right? Yeah. I I'm fine. Mm. Look at them. There's so many. Yeah, we We're really need to inside. get out of get here. In. Inside, that will just be surrounded. But I don't think there is a way out at this moment, so I don't think we have another choice. Okay, spectacular beginning already. <sighs> That should hold them for now. You put up a good fight out there. I don't care what you think. Gabriel, do not take that tone with me. You murdered that man after they let you go. You're a killer, just like they said. You did that? You don't understand. It was them or us. I had to do it. They would never let us go. They still would have killed us sooner or later. You screwed up, David. You were completely out of control. Now everyone in town's gonna think you've lost your mind. His brain splattered all over me. You are my son. I am doing what any parent would do to keep you safe. Right. You do not get to judge my actions. Do you hear me? Hey, you do not walk away from me. When someone speaks to you, you stand up and answer them. David, that's enough. 
He's not a little boy. He doesn't need that from you. What he needs is to learn to keep his opinions to himself until he understands what the hell he's talking about. You haven't I'm seen just... him in years. I'm trying to protect you. Yeah, yeah, right. I lost you once. I won't let it happen again. Okay? We made it through alive. Let's just be glad about that. We need to check the other entrances. Make sure we're safe. Gabe, want to help me out? Javi? Gabriel! Just be careful, buddy. A lot of muertos out there. Gabe and I will watch each other's backs. I'll help, too. O okay. Hey, Clem's with them. It's fine. It's not that. It's... let's just... <sighs> I'm all over the place. I need to focus on something. She has some bits, right? Just need to focus on whatever. Let's just go upstairs. The further we are from these doors, the happier I'll be. I just want to get as much distance between us and the muertos as I can. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's go. Mariana didn't live to see this. To see what her father's become. To see what I've done. She'd be just like that little boy. Scared that the monsters are coming after her next. She would never trust us again. Kate, come on. We're not monsters. I don't know who we are anymore. But it's not the people she knew. Yeah, I gotta say, a lot has changed. It's really not like to be getting any more. That hole is there because of me. What happened was an accident. A bad one, but still. You didn't do it on purpose. But it's still my fault. I can't leave until I make this right. All of this. They threw that fucking thing at her. Let's fix this. What else could she have done? Did you not see it out there? It may not be something we can fix. Someone's got to try. Trip was my best friend, Javi. He died because of you. He didn't deserve this. I didn't think she'd do what she did. Joan lied to me. I never thought it would be like this. You have to believe that. Everyone from Prescott is dead. Everyone but... me. She can blame Harvey now. What's done but is done. She's talked to I don't Joan. Have to like it. But I can't change it. But you. You've got a lot of nerve showing up here. After the bullshit you pulled. You're unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. Oh, oh, I've got a lot of nerve. Everything that happened is because of you. This is all your fault. I told you, I wanted you out of my life, after what you did to Conrad. Why did you tell Joan what we were doing? I was triaging a bad situation. Their doctor is dead. And before you guys fucked it up, their walls worked. It's not only about me. I can actually save lives here. Not just stitch them up and hope for the best. These people will die without me, Javi. I know she, well, fucked us over, but she's trying to help them. She's trying to make something right. 
I mean, she she That's she can't getting, blame right? us. She's trying. That counts. I'll forgive Eleanor's her, but but she can't blame Maybe us she then. Forgot it, but I haven't. Thank you, Javi. We should try to help. Not everyone here is guilty. Fern. Is that you, darling? I'm here, handsome. Fern and Rufus. What's wrong with him? Bitten. He's slipping in and out of delirium. We have to find Ada. We have to find our daughter. I know that guy. We had a situation. He's lucky I didn't shoot him. Looks like his luck just ran out. Let them have a minute. It's the least we can do. Y'all get over here. You gotta cut his arm off. It's too far uh, off. I'm sorry. Bullshit. That's not gonna work, work anymore. I've seen it. Do you want his last moments alive to be more painful than they need to be? I just want to try. I can't lose everyone. Please. I'm begging you. Please. No way. I'm not a doctor. They're the only ones who should do that. I already said no. He's gonna fucking die! I think the infection already spread, so... Fern. You need to put him down when he turns. That's an order. I want to help you. Okay. Well... What the... We're all fucking dead because of you! Hey! Easy. You We're... blew a hole in our wall. Got my little girl killed. Got my whole fucking family killed. Richmond was fine until your stupid Easy ass for... showed up. We're dead fucking meat, David. Might as well take out this asshole while I can. Fern. Shut up. You're wrong. This wasn't my fault. But it was my baby. Stand down. That's an order. Kate. No. Fern. This is all because of me. I caused the explosion. I killed your daughter. Please, forgive me. It's my fault. Please. Please, forgive both of us. <laughs> no! Burn! Holy Burn! shit! Oh my god! <laughs> David! Oh my god! Oh, oh fucking David! Whoa, that dead guy! David, what are you doing? This isn't right! David! She wasn't gonna shoot! Believe me, she was. Because I would have. No! David! David! I, I, I'm sorry, that was an accident. You were going to kill her! She was going for her gun! Look at her! Gabe, I'm... She can't even stand up. What the hell is wrong with you? It was over the line, Gabe. You're right. Gabe. I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to do that to you. You know that. Why the hell are you all looking at me that way? They're just... They're scared, David. Of what? I'm protecting them. Why are you pointing a gun at us? So I'm all alone. Yeah, I guess you are. Fine then. You people are on your own. Such an asshole. I've seen that look in his eyes before. You should go after him. Uh, David really crossed the line. <coughs> and I'm gonna end this episode right here, or this part of the episode. It's kinda hard for me to, to talk a lot and to like play at the same time because uh, my throat really hurts because I'm sick, like I already said. And my, my nose is just, I, I can barely breathe, so... Um, Sometimes it's very hard, but I try. Um, until now, already some 
shit has happened especially in the beginning was quite exciting um, and I get that a lot of people are blaming us because of this but first of all the reason Kate like drove into that wall I believe that was because someone threw that that flash thing or that that, that that how do you call that yeah that's some kind of explosion thing that someone threw that at her so in my in my vision I I honestly thought that that's why she drove into that wall and I believe it was so everyone keeps blaming her but who the fuck throws one of those things at someone who's drive, driving a fucking truck? But of course not everyone knows that and they just blame us, I understand that. But yeah, I I don't feel guilty about this, honestly. But I already said, like, from the moment Javi started showing up at places, that's the moment most of the things went wrong. So I do think Javi is to blame for a lot of things. Also Prescott, if he had never showed up there... Would this have happened? Probably not. But on the other hand, Joan was already planning those those raids and things like that. So maybe they still would have gone there. So it maybe wasn't totally Javi's fault. Yeah, and a lot of people are mad now because before everything was going fine in Richmond. But they, they didn't know that, that Joan was already planning those, those fucked up things. And sooner or later, I think it would have gone wrong anyway. So I, I don't think Javi and, and the rest of those people are completely to blame no also david is really crossing the line now and i understand that a lot of people are scared of him because what he's doing is just not okay and i honestly think that after this if he's still alive if he survives this we like need to leave him behind or something or that he has to go his own way because this is not gonna work and even though i promised to um well javi promised his father in the beginning that he would be a good brother he's trying but it's just impossible with david so um, I think it would be too toxic to keep him around. Anyway, this was the first part of episode 5. I'll probably make two more parts. And I hope you enjoyed this episode. Did you? Then please leave a like, subscribe. And then I really hope to see you next time. Bye!